So let us try to understand what is the meaning of lock mean temperature difference in case of the counter flow heat exchanger. In counter flow heat exchanger, one of the fluid is flowing in one direction and another one is flowing in the another direction. So log mean temperature difference is nothing but the temperature difference maintained along the length of the heat exchanger, which will give the same rate of heat transfer as in case of the actual rate. So we can say that this is the constant temperature difference known as theta m or LMTD. If it is maintained constant along the length of the heat exchanger, right, then it will give you the same heat transfer rate as in case of the actual case. So now let us try to represent this on the temperature length plot. So here we are having the hot fluid, it is flowing in this direction and cold fluid is flowing in the opposite direction. So they are flowing in the opposite direction and therefore it is known as the counter flow heat exchanger. So this is our reference. From this reference, we are going towards right. So that is x is equal to 0 and here you may have x is equal to L. So in this particular case, we will consider this elementary area and as you can see over here, the temperature goes on decreasing across this particular elementary area. So we can use the negative sign that is the internal energy of the fluid is decreasing in this particular direction for this actually the elementary area. Now here, this is the hot fluid inlet temperature and this is the hot fluid exit temperature. This is the cold fluid inlet temperature and this is the cold fluid exit temperature. So theta 1 is the temperature difference across this particular phase where x is equal to 0 and that value will be equal to difference between these two that is THI minus TCE. Whereas at x is equal to L, the temperature difference is THE minus TCI. Now as you can see over here across this particular elementary area, as this temperature is decreasing, the internal energy of the fluids will decrease. Now in apply for steady state conditions, rate of heat transfer between the fluid and wall must be equal to rate of change of internal energy of the fluid. So for hot fluid, it is U into dA into theta is equal to minus MCP delta H or DTH. So we can say that change in temperature of this particular hot fluid is minus U dA into theta divided by MCP of hot fluid. So this mass into specific heat that is known as the heat capacity of the hot fluid. Similarly for the cold fluid also, across this elementary area, the internal energy is decreasing. So we can say that U into dA into theta will be equal to minus MCP of cold fluid into change in temperature of the cold fluid across that small elementary section under consideration. So we can say that dT in case of the cold fluid is also equal to minus U dA into theta divided by MCP of the cold fluid. Now at the beginning of the elementary area, we can say that theta is equal to TH minus TC that is the temperature difference is the temperature difference between the hot fluid and cold fluid. Take the differential on both the sides. So derivative on both the sides. So it is d theta will be equal to dth minus dtc. So substitute this value of dth from this equation. So it is minus u dA into theta divided by mcp of hot fluid minus the dtc from this particular equation. Change in temperature of the cold fluid is minus of u dA theta divided by mcp of cold fluid. So we can take this minus u dA theta common. So it is 1 upon MCP of hot fluid minus 1 upon MCP of cold fluid. Now separate the variables. So take this theta on the other side. So it is d theta upon theta minus u into dA and this bracketed term as it is. Now we know that this elementary area is nothing but the width into the small elementary length that is dx. So for this dA, we can substitute b dx. So for the elementary area, it is b into dx. And now we are integrating from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to l, where l is the length of that particular heat exchanger. All these other terms, they are constant. So we have taken those terms outside the integral sign. And here also, the temperature difference is from theta 1 to theta 2. Now we know that 1 upon theta, the integration is log theta from theta 1 to theta 2. This minus u b as it is. All these terms are as it is. The integration of dx is x from 0 to n. Substitute the upper limit. So in place of theta, it is theta 2 minus in place of theta, it is theta 1. So it is log theta 2 minus log theta 1. This term as it is. 
in place of x also the upper limit is n minus the lower limit that is 0. So it is minus u into p into this n we have taken over here and this rest of the terms are as it is. Now here log m minus log n that is log m upon n. Now this b into l is nothing but the total area surface area of the heat exchanger so in place of b into l we have subtracted a. Now use this negative sign to change this ratio over here so from log theta 2 upon theta 1 it can be turned as log theta 1 upon theta 2 so that negative sign will come over here rest of the terms are as it. Now we know that the net heat transfer rate is equal to the net change in internal energy so q is equal to mcp delta t of the hot field and it is also equal to mcp delta t of the cold field so it is mass into specific heat of the hot field multiplied by change in temperature of the hot field here also mass into specific heat of the cold field multiplied by change in temperature of the cold field so from this we can find out the value of reciprocal of 1 upon mcp so 1 upon mcp h that will be equal to thi minus the divided by q similarly Q is equal to MCP of cold field into TCE minus TCI. From this, we will get the value of reciprocal of this term. That is 1 upon MCP of cold field is nothing but TCE minus TCI divided by Q. Now, substitute these values in the previous equation. So, it is UA and in place of 1 upon MCP H, we can substitute this value over here. And in place of 1 upon MCP C, we can substitute this value. Now, take this 1 upon Q common. So, it is UA upon Q. And inside the bracket, we'll have THI minus THE as it is minus TCE minus TCI as it is. Now just rearrange the term. So this THI minus this TCE minus this THE minus TCI. Now this is nothing but theta 1 and this term is nothing but theta 2. This is UA. Q will be equal to UA theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by log of theta 1 upon theta 2. And this term that is theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by log of theta 1 upon theta 2 that is known as log mean temperature difference.